It's the dry season in Florida. It's been three weeks without rain. That may not sound like a long time. However, when the temperatures are pushing triple digits and the substrate is sand, water dries up and seeps pretty quickly. The heat and dry weather also makes it pretty hard to find snakes. This time of year, I'm normally focused in the sand hills. But in these conditions, the sandy snakes just aren't moving. Serious dirt devil. Nothing's moving, but we found a tortoise. He's over here walking to the cornfield. You done, buddy? Come on out. Two days of cruising this road, and we've been cruising some other roads around here, and we haven't found a single snake. Well, I take that back. We found one black racer. Either way, I don't know what's going on. The temps are, well, it's hot. It's 91 degrees again. We just uh, took off the go dunk in the spring. <laughs> How hard do we have to work to find a snake? I don't know. I think they should honestly just come out like a normal snake. Yeah, they should. You alive? You alive, buddy? You alive? Yeah, you're alive. We're out here in North Florida. We're just about to hop the state line, which is right up there. And I, I like to take this dirt road. Just found this dude. Soft shell. He's covered in sand. Look at his trail. That's a cute nose. Look at that cute nose. Dad, taking pictures. Hi. It's really dry here. It's been dry the last couple weeks, few weeks. We're having a heat wave right now. Last couple days, it's been pushing 100. Tomorrow, it's going to be over 100. But uh, this guy, or this little turtle, this little turdy turt, Really cute. It's gonna have to find some water. Right there. It's dry. There might be some water way in that area. It still smells wet. Dry season in Florida. It's, uh, it's not a bad thing, it's natural. We are right now passing by the scene of the night of the glossy crayfish. I'll link it right here. You should take a look at it, it was pretty epic. Yes it was. Pretty epic. That was a good night. It was. 30 glossy crayfish snakes and a uh, number of cotton mouths, we did not count. And uh, now we're in Georgia. Oh, you missed it. Yeah. Things challenging us. That's really weird. I think it's gonna like kind of fall down as we go by it. Wow, this is scary. Yeah, there's nothing here. <laughs> oh my god. Right there, cutting mouse right there. 
the pad mount. In case you want to know the difference. gonna be hard to see on the video but he's uh he's almost like an orange color a lot of the ones I see around here are kind of more brighter red or your typical looking ones but this one look, looks like it's orange it's neat looking it's a nice one let's uh, let it go across the road No Dobson bar. Look at those chompers. Yeah. And and they do bite hard. Now the male has very large mandibles, about I would say four times larger than that female has. I mean they're just big long mandibles. I didn't take a video of it, but yesterday evening we found a cane break. I'll go ahead and post a picture from that one. I actually found a bunch of stuff yesterday, but no videos. I was being lazy. Forest fire. Control burn. This was uh, caught two days ago to my understanding. Some parts are still burning. Cutting off for the books. Yeah. There it goes. Later. Is that a scarlet snake? It's a scarlet snake. Sure. Found a scarlet snake yesterday too. guys warm you can see this is a inner grade from this area um, up in North Florida these are the ugliest inner grades in Florida I have to say I mean I like the way they look but they're definitely the ugliest inner grades in Florida heck yeah dad there we go cool yeah. That's the mud snake. There it is, a nice looking mud snake. They're always cool to find. Bad video, but there he goes.